Hello and welcome to Lightworks. In this keyboard shortcut tutorial we're going to have a look at entering trim modes on your timeline with the Q, W, E, R, T, Y and U keys. You probably already learnt that you join and unjoin cuts simply by clicking on the timeline cut. As you get more proficient with Lightworks you'll probably want to use keyboard shortcuts more jumping around your timeline with the previous and next cut and entering the appropriate trim using a keyboard shortcut as well. The first key we're going to have a look at is the Q key. This is trim the last clip's out point. If I just move forward a touch, this is going to be the last clip. Press Q on the keyboard, the playheads jump back, and we're trimming the out point of this clip here. I just hit play. If you've had a go at using JKL transportation, now's the time to experiment with trim modes. Press J to go backwards. Press K to stop. Press L to go forwards. And repeated presses will speed that up. J. Keep pressing J, high speed, K to stop. The trim monitors are showing us the outgoing frame of this blue clip on the left and the incoming frame of the purple shot on the right. One will change, the other will remain static. It's a single roller trim. Of course you can use your frame steps as well. If I press the right arrow, or the left arrow to go backwards, also use my 10 frames forwards and backwards. In the last tutorial we mapped this to shift and left and right arrow. Press shift, step 10 frames. And in either mode, of course you can hold down the keys to repeat the key press. Quick shuttle, and we're done. To exit trim mode, either press Q once more, or use the tab key on the keyboard to join the cuts. OK, the W key, trim the in point. Just move my time indicator, press W, trim the purple clips in point. We're going to modify the first frame here, that's shown on the right. Here, the frame remains fixed. We've been shown that on the left in the trim display. Pressing L to play forward. Winds the clip back in, J. K to stop. Each successive press of J and L, remember, speeds up the playback. Of course, single frames, either tapped or held, still respond in the same way. I'm using shift, frames left and right here. Press tab to join. Press the E key to trim the next out point. Now, we're going to modify the outgoing frame here, shown on the left, and the incoming frame on the purple shot remains fixed. I'm going to use J, K, and L. K to stop. J. K to stop. Shift 10 frames. And single frames. Press tab to join. Let's take this back a bit. Let's use the R key to enter trim the next in point. Now the first frame of the purple shot on the right gets modified, the outgoing frame of the blue shot on the left will remain fixed. I'm going to use JKL as usual, press L, wind it in, L again, speed it up, K to stop, J, wind it out, J again, speed it up, K to stop. Shift, left and right arrows, 10 frames forward and backwards. We mapped that in the last tutorial, but of course, 10 frames forward and backwards is on the M and the forward slash keys on the keyboard by default. Press tab to join. On the T key, you can slide a clip, park in the middle of the clip you want to slide, press T. This means that we're gonna keep the duration of the shot the same, but we're gonna change its position in time on the timeline can see the trim rollers are outside each edge of our purple shots cut points. The frames we're looking at on the left is the last frame of this blue shot and on the right is the incoming shot on the blue shot there. So using L to play forwards, I don't worry. K to stop, J to play backwards, K 
indicate to stop. Of course you can use those at high speed transport. Press L twice. Press J twice. Or three times. K to stop. Got our usual frames forward and backwards. Left and right arrow. We can hold that down. Go forwards. Hold it down, go backwards. Or 10 frames forward and backwards wherever you've got that map to. Press tab to join. The inverse of slide is slip. Go to the middle of a clip, press Y. Now we're looking at the first frame and the last frame on each side of the trim monitors. We're going to modify the first and last frames, but we're going to keep the segment in the same place on the timeline, but roll it backwards and forwards. So pressing L to go forwards. The clip's rolling. Press K to stop. Press J to go backwards. And again, speed that up. Press K to stop. Single frames, forwards, backwards, or 10 frames. It's a nice quick way to modify that cut. Press tab to join. To unjoin each side of the cut, press the U key. This way, we're looking at the outgoing frame of the blue clip on the left, and the incoming frame of the purple clip on the right. As we press play and go forwards and backwards, we'll be adding to one side, we remove frames from the other. Press L to go forwards. And again, press K to stop. J to go backwards. Once again, K to stop. Single frames. Get that cut point just how you like it. And 10 frames. Press tab to join. Please be aware once you're in trim mode, you can use the A and the S keys to jump to relevant points. I'm just going to drop some markers down here with my apostrophe key. Drop a marker there and a marker there. Stepping back to the cut with A and to dual roller trim with U. Now I just need to press A and S to snap to those marker points. A and S. You could have dropped some markers to indicate some timing points. That's a nice way to deal with trimming using that workflow. You could also do that with an in point or an out point. I just join this up, just drop in an in point there, I on the keyboard, and let's put an out point here, just to add further marks to the timeline. Press A, back to that cut, press U into dual roller trim, press A once more, snap to that in point, S to the marker, S once more to the out point marker. Press tab to join. I'll just clear all that. Let's use our snapping to line up some of these cuts. You see my video in A1 and A2, the cuts are split, but I might want to go into a trim mode and snap these up together in line with some quick key presses. Let's line up A1 and A2 with this cut on V1. Hold down the Alt key to enter single track trim mode. Click on the center of the cut. Now press the S key once, snaps to A2, once again, now snap to V1. Press tab to join. Of course you could deselect tracks if you wanted to specifically snap to certain tracks cut points. Hold down Alt again, enter dual roller trim, press S once, and you snap to this cut point. Everything's lined up, press tab to join. Of course there's lots of other keyboard shortcuts, we'll be adding further tutorials as we go along. We hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.